On another trade front, tariffs on European goods went into effect today, and one sector bracing for impact, imported specialty foods. And as Rahel Solomon tells us, shoppers here could see their grocery bills go up just in time for the holidays. Starting today, your favorite premium food items, such as French wines and Italian cheeses, could come at, well, an additional premium. Among them, European produce like Sicilian clementines, Spanish olive oil, and Scottish cookies. This isn't just gourmet food that is expensive and is appealing to only a small group of, you know, the one percenters. Uh, this is mainstream food. The tariffs are 10 percent for European planes and 25 percent for agricultural goods. It follows a decision in early October when the World Trade Organization granted the U.S. permission to tax annually $7.5 billion worth of European goods. This is after it found that the European Union had provided illegal subsidies to European plane maker Airbus. The tariff now forcing gourmet grocers to question how much of that they can absorb and how much they may need to pass on to the consumer. We're going to have to take a real hard look at um, all the items and take it on a cost-by-cost -cost basis. Uh, we're hopeful again that uh, the suppliers and distributors and all those guys are going to help um, you know, pull back a little bit of their margins. For customers here at King's Food Market in New Jersey, the reaction is mixed. Some say they would be willing to pay 25% more for their favorite imported robiola, which for this would be about an additional $3. Others say not so much, and they'd probably purchase their favorite imported products a little less often. Depending on the occasion, and uh, but yeah, maybe not as often. Probably would, because that's what I kind of like, and maybe we save someplace else. I probably would pay a little more, but not a lot more. In a statement, U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer said, for years, Europe has been providing massive subsidies to Airbus that have seriously injured the U.S. aerospace industry and our workers. Later adding, we expect to enter into negotiations with the European Union aimed at resolving this issue in a way that will benefit American workers. But until such agreement is reached, the tariffs are likely to remain. For its part, Airbus claims the U.S. also provides subsidies to Boeing. It too has lodged a complaint with the WTO, which says it hopes to rule on that early next year. The EU has also said it's prepared to slap its own retaliatory tariffs on American goods. No timeline on that. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Rahel Solomon in Creskill, New Jersey.